Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for this edition of Sourcing TV. My name is Kerry Hallard, I'm the Chief Exec of the Global Sourcing Association, and I'm joined today by Alistair Niederer, who has been a long time uh, member and council member at the GSA. Alistair, would you like to briefly introduce yourself? Certainly. Hello, Kerry and everybody. I see on the screen there I'm Alistair Formiga, but I'm, I'm good with that. Um, I've been in the BPO and the business process business for uh, two and a half decades at least, and I've worked with GSA for a long time. About a year and a half ago, I got involved in providing uh, ESG platforms uh, for business, which is another form of, of um, business process. And uh, out of that, been working with Kerry to create the Service Provider Sustainability Index. Yes, so that's what we're here to talk about today is Formiga SPSI. And just as a very brief introduction to Formiga, we launched it this summer. It's something we've been working on for the best part of two years, and it is an absolutely industry first um, joint venture um, for the, the global industry. So it's a joint venture between the GSA in the UK, IAOP in the United States, and FORMIGA stands for the Formation of the Industry for Good Alliance. So these industry associations for the buying and delivery of technology and business services all around the world um, are, are focused on developing the new best practices, the, the frameworks, the guidelines, and even the standards for, um, for, for, for sustainable strategic sourcing uh, and when we look at the word sustainable we're looking at it in the broadest sense of the world so yes absolutely environmental yes absolutely social um, but also really focus on sustainable business um, performance and building business resilience so the SBSI is the first real program to be launched under the Formiga umbrella um, and um, it's come after, yeah, as you say, 18 months of us working together, isn't it, Alistair? So, um, so what we found at the GSA is that a lot of our Bioside members were really grappling with the ESG agenda. You know, they knew that they needed to understand what was the ESG impact of predominantly their tier one, but now tier two, tier two three service providers, what was the, what was their ESG footprint and how was that actually impacting them as a business for their own reporting? So we found that our buy side members were all grappling with pulling together a questionnaire. Um, we pulled together the questionnaires from a huge number of buy side um, organizations and we were just blown away with how different every questionnaire was. Some of them were 12 questions on one page of A4, others were spreadsheets upon spreadsheets of really, really detailed questions. So with consultation of the industry, um, we realized there was a really big role for the GSA to play here um, and, and globally with IOP as well, um, to actually create an industry standard questionnaire for how we um, as an industry report on ESG. So that's where we got to, Alistair. And then we found you, got involved, and you've moved us forward. Do you want to tell us a little bit about where Formiga SBSI has now got to? Certainly. Um, it was very interesting because I'd spent uh, a lot of time implementing ESG management platforms, um, which is putting in that underlying layer, which allows companies to go through their, their maturity in ESG, their uh, materiality, what becomes important and how they plan for the future because they are needing to answer a great deal of proposals as, as service providers and they're also essentially helping to report whether it's for them or for their for their buyers. And so at the same time, I noticed having, having implemented the assessment elements of ESG that Kerry and the, the buyer side of GSA were really struggling with understanding how there can be a, a, an easier way to do this and a more level playing field. And that's where I got involved and thought, aha, we need to look at creating the standard. And out of that came the Service Provider Sustainability Index, which is a self-assessment tool. But it's more than just a self-assessment as part of an index, which allows for MEGA globally to be able to report on the industry's maturity and each of the service providers by country, by region, or by group. That's phenomenal. So do you want to go into a little bit more detail about what's actually in the questionnaire and what is the process for either the buyers that want it undertaken by the service providers or the service providers directly? Certainly. Um, 
the SPSI is focused on the global technology and uh, business services industry. So that is the industry. So some of the buy side won't be necessarily from that industry. So they could be pharma, they could be uh, any other area. So predominantly it's called the SPSI because it's for the service providers to be able to go through and, and complete a self-assessment. We have two versions. We have the version for companies that are over a thousand employees globally and those that are under. Um, and by going onto the website formigaspsi.com, uh, they're able to register and complete the assessment. And that assessment is something that ranges from circa 120 questions for the smaller business to over 200 questions for the large enterprise. Mm -hmm. And it's important that it's thorough enough because this is a fundamental tool to help any business to go forward with their ESG strategy and to build an ESG culture, which is absolutely essential for the business. So they go through, they complete the assessment. We've made it nice and easy by splitting the assessment into the five business functions. So that's HR, IT, supply chain, governance, and ESG. Because what we found was that too many organizations are basically throwing the ESG problem to one person somewhere in the business. And that doesn't really help. So, you know, between Kerry and myself and, and the group, we understood that we have to have a pragmatic business solution first which is focusing on ESG assessments and helping everybody to understand what is their relative maturity. Right. I mean, that, that goes some way to answering my next question. Um, but if you can further extrapolate it, you know, there are so many ESG platforms out there. You know, everyone's dog is jumping on ESG as a, as a real hot topic. How is SBSI different to some of the other ESG platforms that are, in it, that, that are already out there? It's a, it's a great question because, you know, there are options available in the marketplace and, and the larger buy side companies will have been involved probably in doing assessments. Um, in fact, Sutherland, who is our pioneer partner, they, they've probably done six assessments prior to doing the SPSI. But working with Kerry and GSA and IEOP and Formiga, we've built this basically from ground up. We've taken the learnings of a long time and we've focused the SPSI on this industry. Okay, so the first important point is it's by the industry for the industry. The second thing is, and as part of that, we've made it relevant to this industry, which is very heavy on people. So the scoring is 60% based on social sustainability, and that's critical for us. Um, as I mentioned, it's an index, not just an assessment. So that's where it differs a lot because for MEGA, will be reporting on the relative maturity of the industry, the trends, uh, where we see change needing to happen, where we're behind other industries, for example. So that's the real value of, of running this as a global index, as opposed to just a lot of independent assessments. Um, I mentioned the business logic, which we've put into the SPSI, which is dividing it by business functions to own the response. Um, and uh, one thing I call the dashboard of relevance, which is saying that if you are comparing a single page dashboard of your service providers, what is really important in terms of what you are comparing apart from just the scoring? Well, we bring out impact sourcing, AI readiness, DEI and B, um, data security. So these are seen as things that you know are really the hot topics and the things that you really want to know is your service provider up to scratch on these things. Um, the overall assessment is, is relatively thorough, as I mentioned, but it needs to be because it is the really for a lot is going to be the first steps towards building that ESG culture. And it's totally confidential. So uh, unlike some of the other assessments which are shared in the marketplace, uh, we keep this uh, as a confidential tool. However, the buy side will be wanting to see the results of all of their service providers of which they will have the permission. Right. Okay. So I'm just trying to clarify that it's confidential, but it's an index. So it's not a name and shame index. It is an index in that each company will know where they're at rather than a published list of you're at number one and you're at number uh, 181 kind of thing. That's correct. And I guess it's up to people if they, if they wish to share the results because they might be proud of their results or, you know, in this, in this time of trust and transparency, you know, I think it's it's one of those things that, you know, how a company deals with it 
you know, is up to them. But but it's our responsibility at Formiga to make sure that we maintain the, the security of this unless otherwise uh, asked to. Okay, excellent. Right. So if anybody wants to get involved, how do they get involved? And also what's coming down the line? What's next? To get involved, I think the easiest way is to go to the website Formiga, SPSI.com or go to the um, the Formiga website. Kerry, you might like to disclose the, the name of the Formiga website, which is a good way to look at that. Yeah, so Formiga's website is anindustryforgood.com because obviously what we are trying to do here is one put a platform forward for how well the global technology and business services industry is already performing against the ESG agenda, um, but but also because we want us to carry on improving. So, you know, by sharing and understanding how well each of us within the community are performing, we can help those that aren't performing so well to, to improve. So Formiga's website is anindustryforgood.com. Fantastic. And part two of that question was what next? Well, we've already done what next. So what next is to bring out the, the dashboard of relevance, which is getting the feedback that says, well, there's certain things that we really like to know about, which is what are those questions that answer those specific questions? And part two of it is looking at the trends in the business to say people are really worried about AI and its impact on business. Therefore, we've already included in the survey now questions on AI readiness. So you'll see that we can move with the industry very quickly. Yeah. So um, just to summarise, I'd say Formiga SPSI is part of um, the GSA's and IA's, uh, IAOP's approach towards industry standardisation. Stop reinventing wheels, stop writing your own ESG questionnaire, get on board with one that the industry has spent a lot of time developing that we know is absolutely optimal for the service provider community. Um, and not only is it optimal, it saves huge amounts of time. Just fill in that questionnaire once rather than fill it in a multitude of times in a multitude of different way for all your different customers it's it's a bit of a no-brainer isn't it well it's a it's a real good boot camp for most of the service providers because if you if you do and i do talk to them about the the work that they have to undertake to respond to rfis rfqs rfps uh, if you go through this boot camp you've gone through that exercise once and and it's very easy for you then to respond and hopefully over time everybody's going to know what the the answers to the questions are anyway and if you've done it once then hey it's, it saves you a lot of money. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so everybody get on board. For me, get SPSI.com. Alistair, thank you so much for joining us you're today welcome. for all the work you're putting into this. It's a fantastic initiative for the industry. Thank you. Okay. See you all Bye. soon. Thank you.